Right now, a lot of people are probably pretty hyped on the Skyrim Special Edition that just came out for PS4 and Xbox One, as well as being patched on the PC. And I like it a lot too, jumping in is just feels like going home again. Just going into this massive, massive world that unfurls before you like pretty much straight away after a very, very quick tutorial. And you can go along with the quest or you can just go explore anywhere. There's random events that happen. It's just fantastic. You can learn spells. Everything is at your fingertips. And there's nothing quite like Skyrim. Yes, there's a lot of open world RPGs and stuff, but a lot of it's strung along. And just like the architecture of the whole Viking aesthetic and the dragons just coming at you just randomly is just great. It's fantastic. Skyrim is still one of the best games ever made. But, did you know that there was actually a sequel to Skyrim that nobody knows about? Or, I should say, that quite a lot of people know about, but maybe throw aside because they don't know any better. I, of course, am talking about the Elder Scrolls Online. Now, when you think about an MMO, you're thinking, okay, this thing is going to be $15 a month or something like that. Who has the money to pay for one single game? That's my philosophy when it comes to MMOs. Why would I want to pay $15 a month on top of me already buying the game to play this game non-stop? Because that's what I would want to do if I'm paying for something I would not want to play anything else because of just, I want to get my money's worth. Uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why I just don't play. Uh, I never played Final Fantasy XI back in the day and besides some, you know, demo promo stuff. And I never played 14 that much, although I did review it and I liked it a lot. I really, really want to get into Final Fantasy 14 again because it's fantastic, but that monthly fee is just, I just don't have the money to play some kind of fee like that. It's just kind of crazy. But even though this started off as a subscription thing, it is free to play now. Last year, it just came to consoles for the Xbox One and PS4, and I don't think it got the attention it deserves. And I think now is the time to basically jump back into that discussion since Skyrim just came out. And it is a lot like Skyrim, or I should say it's a lot like the Elder Scrolls. It's not the same architecture you're going all over the place. I would hearken it maybe a little bit more to Oblivion. Uh, there are mountainsides and dark realms and whatnot, but there are a lot of forests, a lot of caves, uh, so you're not getting the same kind of feeling of Skyrim, but I mean it is, you know, the same kind of combat style, except for uh, you don't really have just a mana pool, you have a mana pool, as well as cooldowns and other abilities at the bottom of your screen. And there's actually some pretty good story here, although it's maybe not as gripping as being the Dragonborn, although they do mention it. I mean, this is the Elder Scrolls area, of course, and uh, I think it's really, really fun. Uh, jumping in with friends, being by yourself, it's just huge, huge open world. It looks pretty good on consoles, of course, it's not top tier like one of the other games that just came out, Battlefield 1. Looks nowhere like that, but really, who could come close to having DICE's capabilities when it comes to creating just these massive, beautiful worlds and whatnot? But still, it is a good game, and I think you should really try it out because it's really, really cheap nowadays. I managed to score my copy for 10 bucks just about a month or two ago, and I do not regret it. Yes, you need to have a uh, internet connection, of course, to play, but you don't have to have a monthly service. It is a hefty update, which can be striking for some people with bandwidth limits, like myself. But you know, if you have friends, maybe try it over there and see if we like it. it it'd be kind of nice if they had like a demo on console, but that would be kind of hard to do. But, I mean, if this video is proof enough, I think it is a uh, really, really fun game that people just, you know, maybe those that like Skyrim should really jump into this thing, because it's close enough to Skyrim to whet that appetite without you having to actually jump back into Skyrim to just go back to nostalgia and old things, because nostalgia is great, but new experiences are also great. So, let's try some of those. And that's all I have to say on The Elder Scrolls Online. Alright, see you next time.
Did you know that was a reaction examiner video? If you liked it, you should subscribe to me to keep up with everything that I'm doing. Also, if you have some other interests, like sex for example, check out To Mops, which is a comedy sex podcast thing wherein my best friend and I check out the weird and abnormal and the erotic. And of course you should support me on Patreon because hey, I want to make the channel better and I want your help to do so. Plus, if you want to check out my writing, check out Game Jerk, where I have archives and new stuff for all projects, okay? You can find all the stuff and more in the description with the links below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.